Sanford Selma had been on the air. Aaron Rubin was the producer. Aaron Rubin, a brilliant writer, terrific guy, and I have no idea why he and Red didn't get along. Uh, Norman had nothing to do with Sanford and Son. Um, this is Norman except, Lear. He was never there. He, uh, Bud Yorkin uh, was the partner that was um, responsible for Sanford and Son. And Red got mad at him, too. And he would not allow anybody from Tandem, which was Norman Lear's company with Bud Lee Yorkin. He wouldn't allow anybody on the set. So that was made it difficult to run a show. So Norman called and said, you guys, uh, you get along with everybody. You think you can get along with Red Fox? And we said, sure, well, it's job's a job, you know. So that's how we got the job with Red. Red, at the time, was having a big network problem. He wanted a raise. He wanted as much as uh, uh, they were paid on All in the Family. And um, let me see. He wanted, oh, yes, he was getting 19000 an episode. And he wanted 25000 an episode. And he wanted windows in his dressing room. And he wanted to be paid before every performance. And they said, no, are you kidding me? And all that came from his days on the Chitlin Circle circuit, where often you didn't get paid after doing your act. And so he always insisted on being paid first. Well, they gave in on the 25 and paying him first. And I think they found him another dressing room. And his strike was over. Uh, when we got there, he wasn't um, performing. He was still holding out. And we had shows done by Whitman Mayo, who played Grady on the show, took his place. Uh, I, we, we made up some excuse why Red wasn't there. And I forget what it was, funeral or something. And that show was pretty successful with uh, Grady. The ratings were held up. But when Red came back, uh, the show became a hit again. And uh, we got along with him famously. He was very protective of us, the two white Jewish guys writing a black show, coming under criticism by the Beverly Hills NAACP for, um, for being white and Jewish. And uh, he stood up for us and uh, uh, convinced everybody that we were the best things for the show, et cetera, et cetera. And we, we became very close to him. We would, if he had a personal problem, my dog is like, I know that sounds silly, but he'd call Saul or me at night. My dog got out of the yard. I don't know what to do. We'd get in the car and go find his dog. And he always had women around and Asians. He liked Asian women, married a bunch of them. But I, 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 can't, uh, I can't explain how kind and sweet he was. Certainly not the character that everybody thinks of. And he was much younger than everybody. He was only in his 50s, I think, at the time. But the show was terrific. We, I enjoyed every minute of it. And um, that's how we got Sanford. And he, he went to ABC after that. And, Did and, you uh, and Saul hire writers for that show as well? Two. OK. Two. Alan Eisenstock and Larry Mintz. Or Alan Mintz and Larry Eisenstock, some of them. Two young guys, very good. And they were on staff. And that was in the four of us did all the shows. Okay. That was the Gary Shandling story. I, I, uh, when, when he passed away, all the things that he started on San Francisco. And he did. He came in with a script, and he did a couple of them for us. And uh, uh, he, he was uh, quite talented, very good. Not an experienced writer. He was very young at the time. But um, we had good writers and uh, uh, outside writers. And Eisenstock and Mintz wrote a bunch. We wrote a, a ton of them. And the four of us rewrote all of them. DeMond was uh, a troublemaker. In terms, uh, by that I mean, he enjoyed getting read upset. And little things, because he thought that was a big joke. And, uh, but Red handled him very well. But I loved Red Fox and LaWanda Page and uh, Don Bexley, who played uh, 
Bubba, I think. Yep. I, I think. And these were all people that he worked with uh, when he uh, was traveling in the South. Luanda was a dancer, and uh, actually was, uh, I think, a comic. Uh, well, Slappy White came on the show a lot. He never forgot his friends, and uh, well, we loved him for that. We liked him a lot. We worked with some great people over the years, and most of them were really, really special and nice. The odd crazy person.